Hi everyone, this is Lori, your Salesforce noob as of January 8, 2022, and I'm here to demonstrate my canning tracker. It is a very simple app that I made after I was in, I was inspired by Mike Wheeler's app um, video on making mileage tracker app. You should check out his YouTube channel and watch that so you will get inspired as well. So um, I made this canning tracker because I am a very serious gardener. Um, every year I plant a lot of tomatoes and this is a list of the plants that I usually will have in my garden. So um, for my canning tracker, I have a home page, which this tab is for. And this home page here is something that I made using the Lightning App Builder. And for objects, I have plants and canning projects. Okay, we'll go through them one by one. So in the home page, built with the Lightning App Builder, I have the components. This component here is a rich text component where this is a recent record. This is a component of report. And I think this component here is a list view. Um, so it quickly summarizes what I've already done, what I recently worked on. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Um, just so you know, I was able to come up with this view of a chart because I entered some hypothetical numbers just so I could see if my tracker app actually works. <laughs> so as for the plants, I have here a list of the common plants that I have in my garden that I typically would can. I don't have any plants here that are listed that I would be using for dehydrating like herbs. If you go to one of them, tomatoes, um, I have just a few fields here really date planted and how many rows or plants I had for the year um, or I plan to plant. I don't have any other details that I need for this because my only purpose for this is so that next year if I feel like I did not plant enough this year, I can go back here and say, okay, I need to add more plants next year. Okay, so nothing, nothing fancy there. Uh, going to the canning projects, um, these are the usual list of what I do, what I can in a year. If you go to one of them, so this will be the record for chili. And it's a simple thing thing that I did here to keep track of how many jars I can today and how many cars uh, how many jars I have already canned in the past this year really this is just for this year but these numbers are hypothetical like I said just to test how it will look like when it comes to reporting so I can edit that field let's say I already had canned previously eight jars and then this is a second if this is the second time i'm canning how many jars have i canned this year so once i save that the fields for the total number of jars will calculate how many i have thus far this is the target number that i will set let's say i want to, to I want to can about 18 jars or 24, 24 jars or 25, you know, how, how many jars you want. Um, let's say I want that. Once I save that, the field for need to make will calculate target number minus total number of jars so that I will be hoping to get more produce so that I can make another batch of can, uh, chili. Here, this is a field of pick list where 
it only shows the produce used for my garden nothing store-bought I will explain later why I have them and this is I categorized well I typed them um, I should rename this as categories but I don't know that I will bother to do that so chili will be categorized as soups and stews for me okay so save that so now that you have that why I have this pick list I'll show you so going back to the list view let's say I harvested a, a ton of green beans and I enter that in this search list. Um, so these are the canning projects where I can use the green beans. Let's say I um, made dilly beans. You know, and then I only have a few that's remaining that's not enough for a batch of dilly beans. Or I want to make a batch of gumbo so I can plan what I want to do with my harvested green beans for today and choose from these you know so yeah nothing fancy I should change this uh, types that will be pickles and ferments Okay, so that's a pretty short demonstration of this. I hope you have gained some... Oh, wait. Let's go back. Let's go here. Calendar. I haven't really scheduled anything there, but if I will schedule a planting or transplanting activity, um, I will put it there. And, of course, the reports... I have here the reports for those scanning projects that I hypothetically have made already. Of course, you can always choose what type of charts you want, but I chose this because it looks cute. So you can turn it into a bar or a vertical bar or a horizontal bar. But I like donut. And I don't think I will even have a use for the dashboard. So probably I'll, leave, I'll take that out of there. Um, I do plan to change the details. Um, I, I want to add in the record of each canning project, I want to add a field as a link to resource. So that I will have my uh, a link to the recipe that I used. I, I usually would just use um, some recipe from the home preser National Home Preservation page. So whatever I can, if I use that as my resource, I will have a field here that says resource. And it will have the URL link. Which at this point, I'm not sure that it will actually lead you to the URL page. I hope it will. And that's it. That ends my demonstration for my canning app. I hope it inspires you noobs to make your own app too. Have a good day.